Hello everybody, I am Eddie Matt from Virtual Wrestling United and this is the final block of the VWU Prestige 3 Festival. We are about to present action from Ring of Valiance. That's a little sore, but I'm going to push through this. And we're going to kick things off with perhaps arguably the most the most disgusting, abhorrent individual in Ring of Balance. And yeah, that shirt alone should say just how awful a human being this man is. This man is Blake Casey. He has been attacking fellow ROB members left, left and right. He's violated suspensions. That I, I, I don't, I, I don't get this. How is he not in jail? How has he not been fired? Why is this man allowed to walk in society? And he's including his younger brother Stephens in this. In this atheism crusade. And if you remember on the recent episode of DCA Takedown, he delivered the rapture brain buster to both Alicia and Narcissa Knight. And he was angry that with his disciple Alicia over her not completing her atheism recruiting duties. So that just goes to show you how reckless and uncaring Blake Casey really is. I mean, how awful do you have to be to wear a shirt that says, religion won't save you, do math. Graduate of a AMHU, atheist mess like you. Give me a fucking break. Fuck your gut. No, how the fuck? Oh, God. Alright, let's talk about this man. Port. Uh, he is not a part of the Ring of Diamonds, but he's related to one. This is Sharon Khan from Harlem, New York. Uh, his younger half sister, Penny Shaw, is a part of the Ring of Diamonds. And uh, who, as of late, has developed quite a fascination with um, Arby Williams. Even going so far as to start to act like her. Evie calls her mistress. Just uh, kind of weird, but uh, you be you. But from what I hear, this will be elaborated on later on in the show. But on that DCA takedown, um, where Blake Casey went all rapture on a couple of nights, um, Shark Hunt delivered a spear to Aubrey Williams. And he has stayed tall behind closed doors that Penny would get her off the pad. People can know Shark Khan with the kick. One, two, two. Ooh, oh my god. And Blake And strangely enough, if it weren't for Alicia and Narcissa Knight, it would have been worse for Aubrey. Shurikan last competed against the one I saw him back on all the episode 8 for the Universal title. He's had a few health issues since, but he has insisted on competing here tonight. And, oh, stopped by Casey. Let's fuck your god on the back of his trucks. No, fuck you, Blake. Fuck you. It's a dirt bag of a human being. I was slipping the clothes on. Now Casey sending his shirt kind of the outside. Oh, look out and come! 
Dead? I mean, I wouldn't mind it particularly, but two, no. And Blake, Blake just being yanked down by what little hair he has, but still kind of strength here in the suplex. Sure, kind of a close off from behind. Now, shotgun, he's. Is he. What is he. Is he did he. Did he tie himself out? Or. Oh! Oh! That was a case of me. Jericho might have uh, pushed himself out here, um, figuratively speaking, and perhaps literally. Um, Shurikan's cardio has been an issue as of late, and some people have taken notice. Now, well, Casey just found the Shurikan by the head down the mat, and Casey has taken Firm control here. And this crowd here in Santa Clara not approving of that. So the work goes Sherry Connor and Casey with a knee. A little middle rope now, spawn time. And a close line by Casey. Casey trying to humble the much larger Shurikan with the camel clutch. I mean, good luck with that. I mean, Shurikan's 287 pounds, my dude. Uh, oh, my. Yeah, that. Nope. That, that, that had no chance. Even with Shurikan self issues, that had no chance. Oh! Super kick by Casey. But he's gonna try to get one clutch again. Oh, no, Shurikan's uh, right foot, right under the bottom. Nope. I mean, perhaps. You know, maybe if you didn't do meth, you would know to move him away. No! No persistent. DT there by Casey. And this crowd is this crowd in Santa Clara is having none of this shit. Like, in fact, if they would have none of this shit, it would be an improvement. They're having less than none of this shit. They want a refund on it. Like, who do they talk to to get a refund on this on this shit? Short shooter by Casey and Shark unable to free himself. And, oh! There's the boot. And then Shark on having to take a breath there. Having to sort of catch his breath a little bit here. And, oh! So that was the spear, everybody. And there's another! Yeah, I think this might be good. This might be a fucking case. Oh, he missed! Oh, and Shokai, I think he, he punched himself out again. He might have tied himself out, and Casey is going to take advantage. Look, he, he may be a meth head, he may be an... No, there's no maybe about it. He's an awful human being. 
but he knows what he's doing in the right. Doesn't change the fact that he's a shit back here. Got slam on the apron. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Slam on the apron. Uh, I believe it is wanting to return to the ring here in Ring of Islands, but uh, Blake wasting no time on the second account. Now, Casey. Has shook him by his shoulder. Oh my god! Just dropped him right there on the Dutch announce table. And that table did not budge an inch. Oh, head first in the barricade. And now Blake just ready down the right hands here. And Blake again was setting the count. Wants to do more to sh wants to do more to share count here. Who was? Who I f argue he may have had this match won a couple of minutes ago with those two spears. Okay. Oh, Casey okay. so Cole's going to the back of Sherikon. Push him in a turbo. Oh, German suplex. I was going to ask if Casey may have tired himself out as well here. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Sherikon, the answer, at least at the moment, appears to be no. Now Blake perhaps looking to put it. No, Shark can't find back. He's got to do something to turn this match around here. Let's close on in the back. Oh, Casey. Well, where? Most of the outside. But oh, but Casey runs back in. And it's a super kick. And now the atheist slash meth head has retaken control here in this in this contest. Oh my goodness, Shark on the back of his head. Hit those steel steps. And just, oh my god! Oh my god. That was a power bomb on the steps. The back of Shere Khan's head hit the steps. And now the front of his head hit the steps. Casey might be, oh no! He is not, I was going to say, Shoka might be good to set up for that, for that Rapture Brain Buster, but still life left the shot on this spear. He's got to put it away here. Don't try for a spear. Casey's in the tombstone! Oh, driver! And Casey, he might be... They're all living! Up, 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 up. Later, Squawk! And no! There's a 
close on by Casey and what 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 does this not have in mind now? Oh mess with the elbow. Jack got four out of steam in the boat. Now he's gonna try for that spear again. Oh I think he might be trying for that spear again. Oh he is gonna try for that spear again. Casey slow to his feet. Oh, it's steaming and it's close on to the outside. And, oh my god, what is Sean Penn doing? Are you kidding me? Sean Penn with the fist drop to the outside. This has been an absolute war to open up the final portion of the VWU Prestige 3 Festival and we thank you for joining us for these last four days. Oh, Sharkhan missed with the kick. And again, Sharkhan down on a knee. He might have, t he, he has tied himself out again. And if I were to guess, Blake is going to take full advantage. A second Tombstone Power Drive. And now Blake, there's the Rapture. Those crowd of Santa Clara isn't going to like it, but Blake Casey is your winner. I don't wish for a better result than this. Uh, why? Why? Why do you have to win? Why? Just the mere presence of Blake Casey at face. Uh, there you see Ryan Stone. Uh, he usually would be in the spot I'm in right now. As he makes his way through Gorilla. Set to come out here to this crowd. In Santa Clara, California, Levi Stam on Earth 1610. And there is the lead voice of Ring of Valiants, Ryan Stone. This will be his first Ring of Valiance match in over a year. Where he actually had to put his commentary position up on the line. And since then he's had multiple issues with new generation rising on and its lead commentator, John, Tom Junkin, simply over, behind over who is the better man behind the desk. They will meet in the last man standing match at ROVX. A loser must leave commentary for good. But Ryan can't focus on that. He must for Oh no. One of the members of the Mutiny Mafia. Dominic Cato has not lost since before Ring of Valiant's revival where he defeated Deshaun Walton. He has been on quite the roll. Neither have lost since their last encounter. Neither have lost since their last encounters. Uh, but there's a, there's a difference. Uh, Dominic 
to you at, at EFAB Mania just a few days ago. Ryan has a wrestle in about 14 months. And uh, Dominic with the Life is Strange um, shout out with the Firewolf t uh, shirt. Hey, Life is Strange is a great, pretty good game. Pretty good couple of games. Recommend. And here we go. Oh, no, we'll tie up that cater. Oh! Don't think Ryan's going to like that too much. But hey, Do Dominic got uh, quite excited over doing a thing. But it wasn't much of a thing. Uh, Ryan Stone from Denver, Colorado. 229 pounds. Dominic Cato from San Juan, Puerto Rico, 243 pounds. And oh, look at this. Nice chain wrestling here to start. Side head lap, but Dominic takes him down. Ryan into the head scissors. And he still makes it. Again, side headlock into a top wrist sack quickly reversed by Ryan, and Dominic takes him down with the arm bar and Ryan rolling free. And Ryan takes him down this time. The Dominic quickly goes to the side headlock who takes him down. As is again by Ryan. Dominic kips up. Neither really able to gain the advantage on the other. I, I tell you what, for a guy in Ryan who has not wrestled in over a year, you would think he oh You would think he had last wrestled yesterday. Wet ring rust. Oh! We have a mind game going on here. Now they're truly able to gain a significant advantage on the other here in the early going. Domino takes him down again. And now Ryan reversing into a side headlock, into a top wrist lock. And as we mentioned, Ryan, this is Ryan's first match since Buckle Up in April of last year. Dominic Cato had that war back at EFAB Mania just, just under a week ago. Dominic went my hand to Ryan. And oh! Dominic just shoving Ryan down there. I think the frustration might be Send it in a little bit here. He's like, wait, wait a minute. This guy hasn't wrestled in a year. How, how is he keeping up with me? What is this? Maybe Ryan's gotten in a few reps since his last match, Dominic. Just a. Just a hunch. And maybe Ryan's instinct, but yeah, I guess, hey, he's called a match or two. Maybe he's learned a thing. Ish. And Ryan for the armbar. And Dominic going for it. What rust? Side hell up by Dominic, and again, he takes him down. This. And Ryan, the head scissors, and. And they type again. Now they're really able to get a significant advantage, but um, I tell you what it's done for Ryan here. He's this is sort of a oh, sort of a warm up, sort of getting getting the 
and the berries of value, but I think I'm excited of that now. Yeah, can I wrestle him? I'm, I'm just gonna fight him now. Oh, he's a form of the face. And Dominic, oh my god, power bomb. And this guy in Santa Clara not approving of one of the newest members. Oh, the mutant left here. This guy with a huge clothesline. How does that Dominic? You took your hand for Brian. Just because he hasn't wrestled in here doesn't mean he hasn't learned a thing. But it's Dominic with the advantage here. That's my all oh, curb stop. This he, he got him with the super dragon. Now Dominic up. Looking for the elbow, but nobody home. Ryan Ford is dead broadcast. And they top once again, Dominic, wrenching on the arm of Ryan. Brings him down to, uh, brings him down to his knees, and now Ryan goes to an arm. And Dominic going free in the top again. I think, Ryan's gonna, I think Dominic's going to try that chin wrestle. Uh, oh! A couple of... Shots to the midsection there by Dominic. And outside headlock by Ryan. And a hip toss by Kato. And it's locked in the right hand by Ryan. And another right. Now Ryan, perhaps for the first time this match, has it. Oh! And that's both two cinematic jakes him, I'm sorry. Blows on by Dominic. One, two. Ooh. Ooh, that was a bit too close. Oh, there it is. A little way more close on by Kato. Lateral press. Ryan just gets the shoulder up. Now, Kato with a gut run suplex. And the newest member of the Mutiny Mafia does not seem impressed with Ryan. And now lays down Lucas pressing right hands. Right hands. Kato now suplexes him outside in. Now Dragon Sleeper. Kato trying to trying to submit. Trying to submit Ryan Stone, trying to make his uh, first match in over a year. Not a not successful one, but Stone able to free him. So, oh! Stone brought down to a knee with that right hand and don't get some elbow. And in a close line. Get her rolling the outside and Stone. Ooh, I thought Stone was going to Stone's going to follow him. Doing the wise thing here. And make Kato come to him. And Dominic drawing with some of the crowd here. And Levi stabbing Ryan is done waiting. In the back here goes Kato. Oh, look at oh, oh my god, look at the strength of that. Oh, oh, oh my oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Suplex on the outside. What rest? Not bad for 
guy who has been out for more than a year. Now running his Kato, sends him back in. That's the right hand, and another right. Now it's weapon, what is my, uh-oh, ow, 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 yeah. Uh, damn it, I'm not having a good time right now. In the face full turn button. They're probably out to report to concussion protocol after this. D uh, Jesus! Uh, uh, that, that's way past 10! I've. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Um, if someone home Canada, in the chat or in the comments, please tell me how many that was. Oh my god, damn it's head. It's gotta be the worst right now. But I uh, kinda switched it on dragon power bomb. Nope, not this time. Got my over early on, but not there now. Let's close it. Over my stone. Almost three. By the way, um, I don't know if we. Oh, wait a minute, Ryan now. What's the. Oh, look out. Damn it! Oh, looks like he's gonna do it again here. No! Yeah, I'm still looking for fans here. Nope. Got a kid on a backbreaker on the knee. Probably should check his main position. And kid on the main shoulder block. I don't think he's tall for people. Uh, that being you, what's in this right now? Uh, what the feature about of, uh, of this is. Coming back here, two. Ooh, stone, really? That's the shoulder, wow. Um, feature bout of, of this, which will be the last bout of this prestige blues festival. And, oh, it's a plot poster. It's Alicia Nair versus Penny Straw 3. And there's a rock bottom of stuff. Does he have all Kano in to get a spin? On the bottom rope. Right hand. This boy, I'm up that mess. Kato with a kick. Right hand. So Kato does not want to start his um, allegiance with the Mutiny Mafia with a loss. I don't think they would like it too much. Just a hunch. See an abdominal stretch by Kato. And Stone getting his um Stone getting an unwanted ab workout right now. Oh, hush. Got to the midsection and head toss. I think some damage might have been done here. Kato following Stone on the outside of Kato's right now. You can find me back here. And now what's Oh. Wow, and now Kato's just now Kato's just doing a whole mind game on him right now. And oh, Stone's following him, man. Uh oh, here we go. Kato, Kato running from Stone. Stone giving chase here, man. Yep. And that did not end well for Dominic. Stone now. Oh! No. I think my land head first on the mat though. Oh boy, I had the sense to, to dodge the kick though. 
I am my stone. See, I'm on here. Oh, okay. Stop! Little driver! Get him out of here! Two! Ooh! <laughs> Dominic just a shade away from going down. Close line. Second close line. Half kick! And now the uh oh no, Mass Wilbur too soon. Dominic's back up. Couple close lines of his own. Ryan misses. Dominic doesn't. Right hand by Ryan. Another right hand. Pop up! One! Two! No! Almost there. No, count by Kato. Now it's a tilt. Oh, back by Kato. Kato's going to try for that kick again. And he missed again. This don't take advantage. Oh, big elbow stab is Dominic. Send him out. Oh, what a close oh, friend. Dominic maybe moments away from joining the ranks of the deceased. He kind of know where he is right now. That, yeah, that probably, that close line is probably not going to be. Someone's got to put him away here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Right for your position now. Like you swapped. No, he didn't get it. Stone. Oh. Dominic just pushes him off. Oh, headbutt. Stone down on knee. Staggered. And another headbutt. A stone fight back. So he's just cracks. And Dominic with the left of his own. And the right. And Ryan comes back on the left of his zone. There's an up form, a second form, and a third. And Dominic with a chop. And another. Three chops. Send Stone down. Oh, Ray Sword just going for it all here. Wanted to make a name for himself here at the VW Prestige Festival. Headbutt, stagger stone again. Stone can barely stand in He's not standing there. Oh, big stomp. Just a deliberate stomp right onto the head of Stone. Oh, there's another one, and Ryan Stone has been cut. Oh, God, is going right after him. If he has this, this will surely be. Oh, he missed it again! Don't miss the kick! He, he dashed again with the third time! No rock bottom this time! Show the block. Now, kid, oh! And now Kato is going to open up Stone even more here. Going right after the open cut of the lead commentator of Ring of Valiance. Flying elbow from the second row misses and Stone gets an elbow in. He's, 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 got, he's got his something big now, I would think. Oh, but Kato fighting back. Right hand. And right now. Boy, well, it's been an absolute war. 
Another right. Both men just swinging wildly here. With whatever little they have left. And we're going to dive in the pod driver. We're going to try for that kick again. And this time, it hits. The latest look. Dominic Kato continues his impressive roll. And Dominic Kato's first match as a card carrying member of the Mutiny Mafia is a win. Kato has not tasted defeat in over a year. And now as a part of the Mutiny Mafia, I contend that run may be continuing for the foreseeable future. Now the ladies of Ring of Valiance take center stage. We're at the, at the Prestige 3 Festival. Out first, the Norwich Nightmare. Ava Will, 6'2", 242 pounds. She has been making an emphatic statement at the expense of the Maxwell sisters, Christy, Joe, and Sydney. Soul started with them back at Buckle Up when Ava lost to Samantha, Samantha Matua in what was Samantha's farewell match. And Ava was so upset about it that she powerbombed Samantha off the stage to a flaming table. Sydney Maxwell confronted Ava about it and called Ava a sore loser. This infuriated Ava to where she and Cassie Fournier screwed both Sydney and Christy Joe out of their She Wolves title tournament and ran it down as episode 8 which led to the Maxwell's attacking Ava and Cassie following the episode. Tonight, Ava looks to get a win back under her belt at the expense of the Maxwell's good friend, Misty. This is all. And here she goes. From Denton, Texas, the home of the legendary Von Aaron family. What's the distance there? It's what may, some may consider the female equivalent of Lars Wild. Very ambitious, very unrelenting. But it's not a matter of two wins. Yet. Lars has not won in SWW. Christy has not won in Ring of Valiance. She was, in fact, she was even decimated in record time by Samantha Sharp. So you got two women that are looking to elevate themselves here, and it's both wins sort of and they must win situation here. Especially considering the stage room. They were grounding, being grounded by Christy, but now it's the other way around. Let's see the side headlock. She gives up just a shade under 100 pounds to to Ava, Christy, get him. Let me say that again. Christy gives up nearly 100 pounds to Ava Willis. See, I was going to get that out. Now, Christy, three forearm shots. Wraps down. Leap frogs. Clothesline. Oh, clothesline does nothing. 
clothesline does nothing. Drop kick, that's a miss. And the clothesline, and down goes De Cesar. And Ava's left. Ava's not impressed. Ava's not. But this is, yeah, she's going to fight back here. I think we have a pair of, I think both of uh, both these ladies are uh, in these six foot range. Oh, Chrissy missed him with the knees. And, uh oh, yeah, this may be. Ooh! Chrissy lands on her feet. She's got to strike quickly and strike hard. Leapfrog and a close line. It does nothing! Drop kick! It, it does nothing! Maybe you are staring now! And let's do all this might be a mistake in general. Maybe you are again! Think she might have. Think she, think she might be onto something here. Or not. Oh! God! God, God, oh! Oh, that, that hurt my insides. Suplex outside in by by Ava and Ava look No power slip here. Ava perhaps looking for the perhaps looking to quickly send Christy home here. And backstabber in the cross race. Ava in trouble here for the for the first time in this match. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It reversed it into a pin. Shows it down. Two, three. Oh, my God. Westy nearly, nearly had victory snatched from her. And, oh, my God, what a sin. Oh. oh goodness. Fall for a slam and now the Norris nightmare. Oh elbow shot by by Christie. And down goes Ava. Aces are up! Cross by him! No! Oh, no, no. Oh, that is no good. Can't afford to make a mistake like that against a much bigger opponent. And oh, oh dear, this, this may not be good for Aces. Oh, that's a power bomb on the Dick! God! Oh. Difficult to watch. That hurt my insight. Now Ava up top. Oh, oh, oh it's gonna be bad. Oh, and it was. And boy, it looks like uh, Ava can finish this anytime she wants. And now. That, that might be it. It's my best. She, she could cover right now. But I don't think she wants to do that. I think Amy wants to send a message to the match. This is not what you want to. But Chris is going to fight. Double knees and she's got wall down. The way it's Dean Meteor hits again! And Meteor is proven to be quite effective when she's hit it! Back kick, not so much. Oh! Just the. Just the pettiness on that blue bag. 
Suplex, no! Puts the counters, takes her down. For a steam, oh, and crowner! Now this is so, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. It, it was back up, and uh, this, this could be bad. Those are that well. What is damn it? What a DDT! And now, oh no! Burn it all! Burn it all! That was her head. That was her. That was her head. That that was her head. That was her head, everybody. That was her head. Oh! And this crowd in Santa Clara does not approve of the Norwich Nightmare. And I don't think Ava cares. She doesn't want to just beat Christy Dixon, so she wants to decimate her. Oh, oh, I missed! But her wanting to do more damage may cost her here. Double knees by this is our. Whatever Chris has got in mind right now, she has to hit it. It has to be something big. Hey, come on! And rolling outside and Christy, I think is going to follow her. Christy up to cross my own! I felt like it was a chance she had to take and it did not pay off and she is going to pay and pay dearly. There's a power bomb on the announce table. Now pay off. Oh, I still, oh my god damn it, it took Christy's head off there. Now, oh, Ava has Christy by the throat, and there's the choke slam. Ladies, hook. No! Ava's in a state of shock. Ava looking to finish it here. There's a man DDT. Oof. Nothing underneath about that time and Christy with a crop kick. Double knee stop. And Christy perhaps closing in on her first win in Ring of Valiance. Great jacket net breaker. Goodbye, no. Nope. Oh, I must have bought by well. Uh, and now Ava just stalking all oh, Chris. Oh no, this is not good. A second burning him. Leg hook. And a three. The number under the W column for Christy Dessers are remains at zero for now. Emma Willow with a dominating win here.
at the VWU Prestige 3 Festival. There's nothing more intoxicating or arousing than the smell of blood. Just like there's nothing more pleasing to the ear than the sounds of bones breaking and blood curdling screams. However, the three of you have yet to shed and draw any blood or break any bones in Ring of Valiance. Sterling, twice now in a row you got lucky with jumping me in the first time you had Gavin to ambush as well. But even after each time you attacked me from behind, you somehow got your ass handed to you by Leon Blackgrave, who in turn got decimated by Gavin himself. It's rather ludicrous and damn near comical that you have all that buzz from NGR for nothing, Sterling. You claim to be a badass, hardcore son of a bitch, yet the only thing you've managed to accomplish in Ring of Valiance is get fucked up by a hardcore legend twice. It really begs the question, just how tough are Leon Blackgrave and Insidious Sterling? Well, it doesn't matter now, and it won't matter at ROVX how tough Sterling and Leon are. Because here's the verisimilitude of it all. Up until ROV episode 8, this whole thing about who's more dangerous, who's more of a sadist, and who's more violent started between myself and Gavin Kruger, and by all rights, should end between myself and Gavin Kruger. But since Leon and Sterling feel the need to be nosy, they are more than welcome to try and out-violent myself and Gavin. But nathless it will not be, for there is nobody, especially not you three, who is more sinister than Salem. Gavin may have killed his parent as a boy for nothing more than sheer enjoyment, but me? I killed my uncle for the physical and mental safety of my cousins Gilbert and Lorelei. Gavin is a sadistic motherfucker and I won't take that away from him or Sterling and Leon. Be that as it may, how far are you three willing to go? How many bones are you willing to break? How many bucket loads of blood are you willing to spill all for the sake of hardcore glory? Only I have the answers to those questions. And the way I'm going to answer them is by taking each and every one of you out at ROVX. Headshot after headshot after headshot. There is a disturbing call. Salem Sinister's voice. It is as if he wants to headshot them over and over and over again. Because it brings him joy. That's very creepy from being honest. Don't be fooled by the positive reaction that Alicia Knight is getting. She is, or at least was, under the learning tree of Blake Casey in his Atheist Crusade. She has been at both of her sisters. Not Aunt Narcissa and Arby's Blows for, for a long time. And this is the third time that Alicia will be battling one of the part owners of Ring of Valiance and Penny Shaw. First time was a buckle up for Alicia won while still being pregnant with her son Salomon. By the way, we don't know who the father is yet, still. Second time, Penny proceeded to pick up the win. First time, by the way, Alicia got help from the son Walton. One six part owner of Ring of Valiance and four bodybuilder, Penny Shaw. Uh, boy, she's really, really, really trying to honor her mistress, Aubrey Williams. 
She's still dressing like But as of late, there's been some trouble in Paradise and Penny's world. Not only she's had her issues with Alicia Knight, but she's been at odds with part owners Shantae and Narcissa. And it's likely due to the fact that she's so in Africa Harbor that Penny is slowly losing her focus and maybe her mind just by being associated with Barbara. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the Ring of Valiance portion of the VWU Prestige 3 Festival. It is Alicia Knight versus Penny Shaw 3. Remember, these two will be a part of a triple threat Hell in a Cell match at ROVX. The third member being Narcissa Knight. Remember the stipulation of that match. If either of the Knight sisters lose, the one that loses gone from Ring of Valiance. But if Penny Shaw loses, Whoever wins gets her share of the company. More on my Alicia. There's a lot of bad blood here. Side rushing leg sweep. What? Oh, come by Alicia just a What is Penny Shaw? It's, it's Penny Shaw's obs obsession. I, I don't want to call it that, but her being enamored, we'll go with that. Her being enamored with Arthur Williams. Is that going to cost her everything? If she's not careful, it might. Show up on Brett's rope, the most dangerous rope, and that's why it's the most dangerous because sometimes that power bomb can be countered into a buckle bomb by a former bodybuilder from Harlem, New York. Oh, kicks it back. This, this, this has been going on for at least the last year. Hey, Penny? Penny? You, you, you're, you're, you're okay there? You're, look, I, I know you I know you love Arby, but uh it, it, has she gone crazy? I don't Whoa! Superwoman punch is blocked! He's slow to get to a feet and now uh, and now uh, let's see on the close on the outside. Two. And a very big old shot. Three. It's a missed section and oh no. no. That's left from counter net. Then then count out there. And we're in the way. Come on, Penny, you know better. You're part of this company, you should know this, you know, you should know these things. Oh! And Shaw gonna restart the count here. It's a midsection by Shaw. And what does she have left? But oh! God dang! Jesus! Power bomb on the on the LED post and then on the floor and now some more right hands from Shaw. Getting a little bit of a preview here for OVX here. 
in what is the final bounce of the VWU Prestige 3 Festival. Now Shaw sending night in. That's she gonna try and win here. Leg hooked. No. Warm, second for one. And a hook toss by Shaw. Al Shaw wants Alicia. Oh, oh, oh just yanks it down by the hair. Now Payne up on the second row, it's a splash to the back of Alicia. And he up again, a splash to the back of Alicia. And he up top this time. Cross back. Uh oh. This time Alicia Carter. Oh, and just slams her down. That's the elbow. Even if they're up. Uh oh. Alicia looking for Daphne Milk. <laughs> Super Woman Punch. Hey, Scoop, no. Camera Knight. Ah! That was a bye bye now, Alicia. She's got my hit by a buster. Alicia has been a, been a so, has been linked to Blake Casey recently, and Alicia now they're going to come out from the second row. Yeah, she has been linked to Blake Casey and that whole atheist crusade, which still will foul about that and a little by and by the way, I mean a lot. I mean, like, why? They should all oh, miss with the knee. And saw the ball. Now, Shaw, what you got in mind here? I, I, I mean, besides all, because he. Oh, my God! Kick to the head of Alicia, and both women are down. She can't wait for Alicia to get up. Just got enough to and drop the oh to head, and uh, I guess it's a good thing Alicia is not pregnant now. So I thought it's the super woman punch hits. And Penny Shaw, she's doing minus, yeah. I'm strong. Yes, you are, Penny. Yes, you are. Suplex, son. Nope. Hand by night. Landing on her feet. Daphne Stout on the floor. I'm pretty sure that was Daphne Stout. I'm sure someone put me on that. Lucy up! Drops the elbow! And a splash! Now Lucy perhaps looking to put it away here, no? Oh, knees. And Penny with a close on the outside! Uh, oh, oh, we got company. 
Vast Narcissa nice Knight, the third player in this picture, if you will. The third player in this in this triangle of hate. And Pe those three are gonna face off in that Hell in a Cell match where it where the landscape of Ring of Valens will change here. That's this what's many. A violation of my mind! Okay, roll! With a bridge! Two! Wait! Oh my god! Oh, Alicia nearly stole a dead out! Oh, there's Stephanie Salad! Oh, Alicia might. Oh, pain might be cooked here! And there's the Rapture Brain Buster! The leg is hooked, and Alicia Knight has pinned Penny Shaw. It, it took two women to do it. But if that happens at RVX, Alicia Knight will become a part owner of Ring of Valiance again.